So I'm gonna try to film this super fast. I'm about to leave for Ryan's little lunch at school. But I just wanna show you my outfits of the day. I usually don't ever show my outfit of the day, so today I am. This shirt, I don't remember where I bought it. It's just so old. I've had it for a really long time, but I love the detailing on it. It has like these flowers. Don't mind my bed in the background. I did not make it. I'm running late, but anyways, yeah, I love the detailing up here. I love how your shoulders are cut out. Um, the shorts are from Walmart, and so are the sandals. They're both from that time in True Brand at Walmart. And then I just have this necklace right here. You guys can't tell because my lighting is horrible, but have this necklace here and then I'm wearing this pretty little ring and then my earrings I don't know if you guys can be able to see but those are the earrings I'm wearing so this is my outfit for today after I get lunch with Ryan I have a bunch of errands to do I still have to get that little one dressed and ready and I have to leave like in 10 minutes so I'll see you guys in a little I don't think I told you guys but today they have a grandparents day so grandparents are supposed to Grandparents are supposed to go to the school and eat lunch with them, but unfortunately my mom and my in-laws, they live back at home, which is in Florida, so he doesn't have grandparents here to eat lunch with him, so they are allowing parents to go as well. So Robert unfortunately has to work, so he can't make it, but I'm going to go, and I completely forgot that I have to pick him up lunch. I told him I would bring him Chick-fil-A, and I'm here at home just hanging out and taking my time, and I realized I need to go Chick-fil-A before, and... I don't know about you guys and the Chick-fil-A where you live, but my Chick-fil-A near my house is always super packed and the lines are always really long. So I'm gonna head out now, get Ryan some Chick-fil-A, and then um, I have a lot of errands to do after. I need to go to Target, Dollar Tree, and Marshalls. Um, I do need to go grocery shopping as well, but I'm pretty sure that will not happen until after I pick up Ryan from school, because by the time I leave, his little lunch, um, it'll probably be after 11. And at that time, me and Madison are gonna go get lunch as well. So I'm not picking up lunch for me and Madison, just for Ryan, and then after his lunch, then me and Madison will go somewhere. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to do a day in the life today. Not sure how well that'll go because I always plan to film days in the lives and then I pick up the camera maybe like one time. So I'm about to get Madison into the car and I will film once we get to the school. I don't know how much I will film because of privacy reasons, but maybe I'll get one or two clips. So we'll see you guys in a little. I just pulled up to Ryan's school. It is already packed and there's no parking. Um, and it took me a very long time to find somewhere that was selling lunch already. So his lunch starts at 1040 and they said to get here about five to 10 minutes early. So I was driving around trying to find some place that was selling lunch. I went to Chick-fil-A, which he's going to be so upset. I told him I was going to bring him Chick-fil-A for lunch, but Chick-fil-A was not selling lunch. McDonald's wasn't selling lunch. Burger King wasn't selling lunch. Those are the three main restaurants that are around me. So I didn't know where to go and I decided to just try um, Bojangles. I've never been to Bojangles. Hopefully the food is good. That was my last option. I was gonna try that and if they weren't selling lunch, then I was just gonna go to the grocery store and get him some lunch. Um, but thankfully they were already selling lunch and I was able to get him a chicken tender meal with french fries and a drink so hopefully he's not too upset because he was really looking forward to getting some chick-fil-a but I'm gonna head in it is almost 10 30 right now everyone is walking in so I'm gonna vlog just a little bit and this lady burn I hit my car um so yeah I will what is she doing this lady's like backing up trying to park and she's like inches away from my car. Anyways, I'm going to head in and I'll vlog a little bit. Hi buddy. Are you excited that mommy's here for lunch? Oh. Is your food good? Oh, mommy did a kiss mark on your face. Do you like your chicken? Alright, sit down. Next time I'll try to get Chick-fil-A. I'll go a little bit earlier. So he decided to get chocolate milk. <laughs> so I'm gonna give Madison the lemonade. He doesn't like the fries, but he likes the chicken and the biscuit, right? Why do you have this tag on you? It lets me in. And you. Oh, thank you. You're eating lunch? And I'm eating all your friends, right? My camera's like blurry. All your friends at lunch. Say hi. That piano in the sky. Those are so good. I'll be so 
happy. Yeah. yeah. You eating your ice cream sandwich now? Yeah. It's so pretty. They have flowers in there. Madison's eating some yogurt. Okay guys, so it is now eat, almost 11.40, it's 11.38 and I am just now leaving Ryan's lunch. I feel so bad, he was crying so much because he didn't want me to leave. Um, he thought that I was going to take him home with me, but I told him no, he had to stay in school. He doesn't have much longer, he gets out at like 2.45, so, and it's already almost noon, so he doesn't have much time left in school, so I told him he needed to stay in school, so he was really upset, he was crying, but he wasn't the only one crying, there was like three other kids that were crying as well when their grandparents or parents had to leave, so I'm glad that my child wasn't the only one crying, but it was a super cute lunch, and I really loved being able to put faces to names. He's always talking about a few of his friends in class and I was actually able to meet them and see them and they are all so cute. So yeah, like I said, it is almost noon. I am going to go to Target and Dollar Tree and also Marshalls. I need to pick up lunch for me and Madison right now. Um, we did not get lunch when I went to Bojangles earlier. She did have a little snack at this little luncheon. I brought her some yogurt and then she ate some Orion's french fries. So she shouldn't be too hungry because she had a big breakfast and she had a little snack here, but I'm still gonna pick us up some lunch. So I'll take you guys along with me. Also, I'm not gonna go grocery shopping until after I pick up Ryan from school just because I don't wanna cut it close and I like to take my time when I'm grocery shopping. So yeah, that is the plan. Okay guys, so we were going to get, um, not Panera, uh, Chipotle because Madison loves Chipotle and I love Chipotle. But I see that there's a new New York style pizzeria in this little plaza and Madison, that's probably her favorite food is pizza. So we're gonna go check it out and see if it's any good. Hopefully it's good. I'm having Madison walk. I usually always carry her because she walks slow, but making her walk right now. And it's so hot outside, so. And also guys, I'm sorry if you see like a little glare or a little crack in the phone because I did drop my phone and the little cover that I have on it is broken, so hopefully it didn't shatter my real phone because there's like shatter all over. I don't know if it's the little case or my phone, so I'm gonna get some pizza and I'll vlog in a minute. You gotta come inside. You gotta come. Okay guys, so we are now in the shopping plaza of Target and there's Marshalls and Dollar Tree and also Hobby Lobby. So I'm gonna stop in a few of those stores, but I did pick up the pizza. I was planning on eating the pizza inside of the restaurant, but when I walked in, all there was was men in there. It wasn't packed, there was maybe like five men, maybe five or six, and it was all men and they were staring at me. I don't understand why guys have to do this. Like a girl walks in somewhere and they stare, they don't make it even discreet at all. And they were all just staring at me and looking at me and I was very uncomfortable. So I decided to take my food to go. I ordered it and ordered it to go because I didn't feel like being stared at while I was trying to eat my lunch with my daughter. So I got it to go, but the food smells really good and the pizza looks good. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. I got two slices. I got one for um, Madison and one for myself. And I get Madison a drink because I do have her um, little Camelback um, bottle with water. So she has some water. I got myself a drink though. But this is how the pizza looks like, guys. It looks so good. So I'm going to eat, feed Madison as well as you guys can hear. She's pretty mad. So I'm gonna eat and then head into Target. I'm gonna try to vlog a little bit in Target. If not, I'll try in Marshalls, but we'll see. Maddie, are you happy you ate pizza? Can you get some juice? Yeah, I had that juice in her lunchbox. I forgot, so that's what we gave her. We're about to walk into Target now, see what we can find. Okay guys, so we are in Target now and I'm so mad. I left my list. I had a list of things that I needed to buy from here and I remember a few of them, but I know I'm going to end up forgetting something. I left it right on the counter before I left. I'm trying to hurry up because I only have exactly one hour to get back to pick up Ryan from school. So I'm trying to hurry up because I also want to go to Marshall's, but let's go down the makeup aisle. I need to get a primer and also some more BB cream. So going down the makeup aisle, Madison. Did you have a good lunch? Did you like your pizza? Or your favorite place? I did stop into the dollar section. Came back like a week ago, so I'll probably do another haul. But today, the only thing I'm picking up from Dollar Spot is this mug because I like it. It's cute. But anyways, I'm going to shop around. 
and try to hurry up and feel so out of breath and see what I can find. And this lighting is keep on going dark. I need to take off this little case that's on top because it's messing up with my filming, but Madison's good so far, right? Right? Right, Maddie? Oh, here's Cover Girl. You guys, if you're looking for a good BB cream, I mentioned this in my favorites video. Oh, I don't even see it. It's by Cover Girl. It's a BB yeah. cream. And I'm not happy I don't see it. Is this it? Oh, here it is. I guess they just changed the packaging. Maddie. Packaging didn't look like this before. It looked like this. Let me show you guys. That's how it looked like before. But I guess this is the new packaging. But this is a really good BB cream. I always use it. And I'm out of mine, so I'm gonna buy another one. I don't know what color I got it in last time. It might have been 540 medium, so I'm gonna try this one. I think this is it. Because I remember when I went up a shade, it was too dark. So, try to get that one. And it's really affordable, it's only $6.99. So, that's what I'm gonna get. And then, I also need a primer if anybody if anybody knows a good drugstore primer comment down below i'm looking for a really good drugstore one but let's put this one back and this lighting right here is really good i like this lighting but anyways i'm gonna grab this and keep on looking and then uh when i go to marshall's i'll try to vlog some more you guys target has a lot of things on clearance they have an aisle right here that's all 30 percent off there's a lot of cute things like this is only five dollars and 58 cents that's cute I also really like these. These are on clearance as well. They have like these really cool looking things. This is a banana, a strawberry. So yeah, they also have pillow. I don't really like this pillow, but the pillow's on sale for $11. And Madison now, oh my gosh, now I'm getting to everything. And then this is really cute as well. So they have a ton of things on sale for 30% off. It's mostly like summer stuff and like back to school stuff, but this lamp is cute too. I think that's supposed to be like a pineapple. It is. It was originally forty on sale for twenty dollars. So, what did you throw out? She threw out the trash bags. But yeah, I just want to show you guys that they had a clearance section. I'll I'll turn the camera around so you guys can get a better look. So this is everything that is thirty percent off. I don't think that toy is supposed to be there, but it goes all the way down. So they have a pretty good selection these things are pretty cool I don't even know what they are I think you put them on the book bookshelf so that's a strawberry a banana they have a burger and a taco and then they have like some back to school lamps some rugs I don't know why my lighting so bad in here but the lamp I just showed you that I think that lamp is really cute and Madison what are you doing are you trying to eat the trash bags we are heading into Marshalls now. You want to go into Marshalls? See what we can find. We only have maybe about 20, 30 minutes max before we have to go pick up Ryan. So I try to find as many things as possible. Looking for some fall clothes. See if we can find anything for you too. It may be Ryan, but I need some sweaters and some shirts, right? Mom needs some fall clothes. It's so hot, guys. Okay, so I did not vlog when I went in to. Marshalls, it was pretty packed and also I was in a rush. I was trying to get in and out So it is a little after two and I have to rush over to the other side of town to get Ryan from school I did not make it to Dollar Tree because I didn't have enough time So I'll probably go to Dollar Tree sometime in next week and I'm going to be going grocery shopping once I pick up Ryan from school So I did buy two things from Marshalls. I couldn't really look as much as I wanted or try anything on because like I said, I was in a rush. I'm planning on doing a try on haul, fall try on haul. So whatever I bought from Marshalls, I might go back next week as well. So whatever I buy from Marshalls, I will include in the try on haul. I did buy a few things from Walmart. Um, if you guys saw my spring Walmart try on haul from Time and True, I found I think like two or three things from their fall collection that I like that I picked up as well. So I don't know when I'm going to be filming that video because I still am shopping around. But whenever I get a good amount, then I will do a try on haul for you guys. But hopefully you guys are enjoying my day in the life. Like I said, I'm trying to get better at vlogging. I suck at it, but yeah, trying to get better. But anyways, um, the lights both turn green, so I'll see you guys when I pick up Brian from school. 
So we, where are we wearing? Just picked up Ryan from school. Where are we now? At the supermarket. And, I and guys, they have pumpkins in the supermarket. And I'm getting caramel apples. I want to see it. You want to see it? Mommy loves caramel apples. Those, yeah. they're so good. They have peanuts on it. They have peanuts on it. I don't like candy apples that much, but I like the caramel ones. So that's what we're gonna get, right? We're gonna get these. Oh, who's that? Is that a dinosaur? Ah! Ah! Madison, what is he doing? <laughs> dinosaur. What's your name? I want to eat this corn. Madison, do you care that your brother's a dinosaur? Guys are silly. Okay, I think you're gonna hear mad. That was cool, huh? Do you want mommy to put it on? Look, there's other ones. There's a pumpkin one, panda, of course, a unicorn, and I think that's a kitty cat. Those are cute. Let's see how much they are. Big head dino. It says it's 14 plus. Putting my five year old in it. It's $25. That's cute, huh? Yeah. Oh, guys, I'm telling you, this is the candle that I'm always telling you guys that smells amazing. It's by Tuscany Candle. And I don't know, I don't see the scent that I got. Well, I have Fall Festival at home. And then I have another one. I'm not sure what it was called. But Autumn Wreath also smells really good, I think. But, and they also have the little wax melts. So I have Autumn Wreath at home. And then I have one more. Might be the Hayride one. If you guys have a Kroger, you need to go. They're $7.99. Alright guys, we gotta go. Okay. So we're now back home and I just finished unloading the car. There was a ton of stuff in the car between all of Ryan's stuff from school, groceries, and then everything I bought from Target. It was a lot. I just finished putting all the groceries away and I was just now unpacking all of the stuff I bought from Target. But I thought I would do like a little haul for you guys, show you guys what I bought at Target. Some of the stuff isn't even exciting, but I know a lot of you guys still like when I do little hauls like this. So I'll get all like the boring stuff out of the way, I guess. So I just needed some more fabric softener and I love snuggles. So this is what I bought for my fabric softener. And then I've never used this um, detergent. It's called Purex Dirt Lift Action. I don't know, it smelled good and it was on sale, so I thought we'll try it out. Hopefully it works because if not, I'm gonna be upset because we are almost out of our Tide detergent. I usually use Tide, but we're gonna try this. And if any of you guys use this, comment down below if you like it. Then we just needed more of these Clorox toilet wand refills. I love these. I hate cleaning the toilet and I hate having to buy new brushes because they get really disgusting and dirty. So I like these because it's just a one-time use and you toss out. And then we just needed some more garbage bags for the kitchen. And then for Ryan's school lunches, I just bought these Ziploc containers. I did have a bento box that I bought from Target, but I can barely ever use it. It's always leaking through and all of his food always goes from one corner to the other. So I'm tired of his food always getting messed up. So I'm gonna try this Ziploc ones and hopefully it works a little better. I won't pack anything like liquidy in here because I'm pretty sure it will leak, but I'm hoping that the food does not transfer to all the other little sections. Um, and then I bought some more of the fall scent Mrs. Myers apple cider. This is my favorite scent. They have um, pumpkin, which I think smells good, but I think I like apple cider better. And then supposedly they brought back mum. I just haven't seen mum in my location. I loved that scent. If I find it, I will stock up. But they only have apple cider and pumpkin. I already have a set of pumpkin. And although I do already have like one or two sets of this, I'm just that obsessed. So I bought another of the multi-purpose um, spray. And then for Madison, she just needed some more wipes. I bought her some wipes. And then I never tried this Johnson Skin Nurse Sweet Apple Wash in Sweet Apple. Um, I don't know. It just sounded like it smelled good. And the kids needed some more washed. So I bought that for them. Then they were completely out of bubbles. So I bought them the Mr. Bubbles. I usually try to buy the sensitive one, but they didn't have the sensitive one. So I just bought the regular one. And then... From the Target dollar spot, I had to buy at least one thing from there. So I bought this cute mug, it's orange and then in gold it says, let's stay home and it was $3. So I bought that mug. And then I bought some makeup. Oh, I also bought some um, hair masks. You guys, I'm getting so bad with it. 
I used to be really good with doing hair masks and also face masks. I would do them weekly. I would do them at least once a week. And I used to get so many compliments on my hair about how shiny and healthy it looks. And I think the last time I did a hair mask on me was probably back in February or March. And you can tell that my hair is just, it's just really bad. It's burnt, it has split ends, I need to get a haircut. But I thought I would buy some little um, packets for a hair mask. So this one is my favorite, I this, or one of my favorites. It's only like $2 for this packet. I wish they sold a bigger container of it, but they don't. It's by Palmer's and it's called Coconut Oil Deep Conditioning Protein Pack. You guys, I love this. So I bought one of these because I knew I liked it. And then I've never tried these, so I thought I would try it out. I believe this was $1.99 as well. And this one's by the same brand, Palmer's, except it is an olive oil deep conditioner. So we'll see how that one works. And then I just bought this Love, Beauty, and Planet one. I bought this shampoo and conditioner when it first came out like a few months ago, and it smelled amazing. I was obsessed with the smell. Did not know they had a um, hair mask. So this is a two-minute magic mask. And it says it renews for dull hair and acts of love for our planet. So I will try that one out. And then I bought three things of makeup. Um, I told you guys in the store, I was out of my CoverGirl BB cream. And it took me a while to find this because they changed the packaging. And yeah, but I did find it. And this is my favorite drugstore BB cream. If you guys are looking for a good BB cream, I would try this CoverGirl one out. It's really good. I get mine in a medium. And then this is also another staple of mine that I've used a lot. It is all my, it's just a um, like powder foundation. So a lot of times when I don't want to use a BB cream or foundation, I will just use this on my face with like concealer and I love it. And this is in light medium. I wish they would come in at darker colors because I should go like a shade or two up, but this is the darkest I could find, but I make it work. And the last thing I bought was something from Soap and Glory. I've never bought anything from Soap and Glory. I was in need of a face primer for my face because I haven't been using one. I don't know, this one's called One Heck of a Blot and it's an instant perfecting power primer. So it says it's shine block 12 hours matte. So, and also shrinks your pores supposedly. So I tried to Google it while I was in the store and I, all the reviews I found were pretty good. So I'm hoping it works out because I think it's like $13 for this box. So yeah, hopefully it works good. If any of you guys have ever tried this primer by Soap and Glory, let me know if you like it. If not, I will keep you guys updated on how I like that. But now that is everything that I bought from Target. I also did buy two things from Marshalls, but I'm not gonna show you guys right now because I do plan on filming a fall try on haul. So yeah, I'll probably go back to Marshalls or TJ Maxx because I do want to look for more things. I really want like an off the shoulder shirt or sweater for fall. And then I also need, I just need like one or two good sweaters for um, fall because all of my sweaters are super old and they're either dull and faded or they have holes in it. So I need some new new sweater. So I want to go to TJ Maxx. I'll probably do that next week. So look out for that try and haul. It should be coming soon, probably like in a week or two, but yeah, what are you saying? Madison, Madison's super hyper over there. Let me show you guys her. She's so hyper. Maddie, where are you? There you are. I bought this new, like, it's not even a tripod stand. It's supposed to like be the handheld one. And I never use it, but I'm using it now. But anyways, I am going to take the kids a bath. They both need a bath. They both stink. They've been out all day. Yeah, are you so hyper? What are you saying, girlfriend? What are you saying? Look, she made that mess literally in two seconds. And then Ryan, he comes home and he just throws his backpack down there. I need to tell him to pick it up. But anyways, I need to clean up the house. We've been home for 10 minutes and it's already a mess. Take the kids a bath. Hey, can you bring your book bag? upstairs and bring your shoes upstairs and your socks and your puppy and your snake huh oh my god why is it so orange where are you there you are can you can you bring it upstairs for me because the house is a mess and then we can take a bath okay apparently my son wants me to record him cleaning up the mess why is this so orange Oh, there we go. That's better. Now look at now. All right, hurry up and come downstairs. Bring okay, your stuff upstairs. I'm going. See that mess? Mama didn't like that mess. It's gonna drive me crazy. Come on. 
gonna drive me crazy. Here's your spark. <laughs> yeah. Here, Yucky. I'm down. All right, pick it up. I'll record you. Go. Okay. Or actually, we turn the camera around. We're actually you. leave your book back downstairs because I need to um look in it and read your folder and put your lunchbox away. So you can leave your lunchbox or your backpack away, but your toys and your I shoes and your I socks. I have my lunchbox. Or your snack um bag, your little okay. snack bag is in there and I also have to read your folder what your teacher said. But bring your I shoes. My folder after I get my snack. Okay. Um get your shoes, your socks and your toys and bring them up, okay? Thanks for being an awesome helper. Wow, you go up the stairs so fast. Good job. Now you little girl, I need to bring you upstairs. I need to take you a bath because you're so stinky. Don't touch the phone. Don't touch the phone. Mm -hmm. Wanna go back? Say hi, everyone. Say, I am all better from eating white out over the weekend and giving mommy a scare. You ready to go back? All right. Hey guys, so now we are working on Ryan's work. So they have an entire month to learn 12 words. Last month it was all colors. And then this month it is actual words like at, and, me, you, stuff like that. So this month we're working on it. He has- like. Yeah. He has until the end of September to get them all correct because they're going to test him at the end of the month. What's and we want to get an A on it, right? Right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do words now. This is the first word. Let's see if we can get them all correct on camera. Him. I mean, he. This is the second one. At. Third one. It must be all or no, guys. Put in the comments below if you know what this is, month is. What does it say? No. Good job. <laughs> mm. You. Good job. <laughs> Like, this is the, over here is the winter pile. Yeah, you got them all in the winter pile so far. On. Good job. And I still got it. I still, this is one that he has a hard time with. This is the only one that he usually misses, so let's see if he gets it right. At. I mean, I mean, you. Nope, we'll go back to that one. <laughs> that one he, for some reason, has a hard time, so... Although, he just got them all right two times in a row, but now that we're on camera, he got one wrong, but it's okay. That's the next one. We. Good job. Can. Good job. And. Good job, one more. So. Good job, okay. We're gonna go back to this one. Do you know what this one is now? And. Good job, high five. So he did good, he got one wrong, but then we went back to it and he got it right, right? We're gonna keep on working on it. It's still the beginning of September, so we still have the rest of the month for him to master them the first time because with his teacher, his teacher isn't gonna put one to the side like I did and then go back to it and ask him. He has to get them correct on the first try, right? So you did good. We're done for today working on it. We've been working on it for a while. So, remember, he's going to go play now. Oh, actually, he needs to go finish his dinner. And then once he finishes his dinner, I told him that he can get a lollipop because he was a good boy and he's been listening. So, all right, you go finish your dinner. I got to get dinner for me and daddy ready. Okay, guys, so it is now 8 o'clock. It just made 8 o'clock. I just got Madison up to bed. She's not technically sleeping, but she's laying down in her bed. And Ryan, I'm going to let stay up a little bit later. On Fridays and Saturday nights, I do let him stay up a little bit past his bedtime since he does not have school the following day. So Ryan is on the tablet in the living room. He's having some downtime. And now I'm about to go take a shower because I'm tired. I had a very long day today. So I'm just gonna end the video here. I had planned on filming me when I took the kids a bath and put them to bed, but I am really tired. I just wanna end the video so I can be able to edit it. I wanna try to get it up by Monday morning and weekends are usually busy. I usually do a lot of cleaning errands and then I usually hang out with Robert. We usually hang out as a family because he's usually off on Sundays 
and then sometimes he gets home early on Saturday. So I'm gonna try to edit most of it tonight so I can have it up for you guys by Monday morning. So I'm just gonna end the video here. I want to say thank you so much for watching today's day in the life vlog. If you guys want me to start filming more vlogs, give this video a big thumbs up and also comment down below that you guys like my vlogs and you guys want me to do more. And the reason why I don't do as many vlogs is just because I feel like my vlogs don't really get many views. A lot of my videos don't get that many views, but I feel like my vlogs are, is what gets the least views. So that's why I don't vlog as much. And also I don't feel like my life is that interesting. So yeah, just comment down below and let me know if you guys would like me to start vlogging more often or doing days in the lives. And I would definitely start doing that a lot more often for you guys. I am going to try to do vlogmas again this year. Maybe I'm thinking about it. So trying to get myself prepared for that. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's Day in the Life vlog. If you enjoyed it, like I said, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, turn on your notification bell and subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.